Greetings, LARPcraftians. This is our tenant in his non-playable form. And we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, some of the vials and ways to store items that you're going to be drinking, such as potions and rations that you'll be eating. In Rulebook 3.5, we actually went to a system that allows uh, potions to be any size. They just have to be a certain color. And a lot of questions come up as to what type of uh, holsters that can be used for such um, potions. Uh, a lot of folks like to use uh, small potion bottles like this. This is a uh, 70 cent potion bottle from a uh, craft store. But some of these plastics that are like, you know, this is a plastic bottle of course. Uh, some of these plastics can be uh, dangerous to drink out of because they're not rated for potable liquids and that's what we're looking for. The way to check is if on the bottom it doesn't have any symbol, chances are it's not safe to drink out of. Uh, so while you may say, well, I'm not going to drink out of this, then I'll pretend, uh, chances are in the heat of battle, you may give a potion to somebody or something happens. So uh, you may want to make sure that your potion bottles are approved. What we're looking for is the number symbol. This one has it. Again, 70 cent bottle. These bottles were right next to each other when I bought them today. And I just bought them as examples to show they were in the same section. Uh, employees of the craft store had no idea what I was talking about. And the safety rating is, this is a one. It's a recyclable number one. Can't really see it on the webcam here. And it says PET. There's PET and PETE. And there's a number of different codes to what plastics are have been found good to, uh, good to use and which ones are dangerous to use because they'll leach chemicals or hormone inhibitors. And we're just now learning about hormone inhibitors and what they do and how they affect the body. Um, so I wanted to mention this because it is a, it's a safety concern. And uh, you can get bottles that are, you know, PET1s um, or PETE1s, which are like your drinking bottles or even your, like you look at your water bottle on the bottom, that's going to be an example of a, of a safe bottle to use. And, um, you know, they make these in all different kinds. Small deviation here. If you have a twist on top, a lot of realms won't u let you use that. Uh, some realms, if they're doing like medium immersion or light immersion, they'll let you do it. Chances are you can paint this to look like a cork and you can still use it. Um, just pretend it's a cork. But you want to try to probably snazz that up a little bit if you can, if you're doing the medieval games. Here's another example of a bottle that looks really nice, looks good to use, but on the bottom there is no rating. So this, if it doesn't have a rating, assume the worst. It's not going to be safe to use. And if you smell bottles like this, they smell like chlorinated plastic. They smell like, uh, uh, like sometimes you got like pool noodles and such that's have that, that odor to them. That's just, that's a warning sign that you shouldn't probably use those. Now, a lot of folks also want to know, well, can I use glass? And while glass obviously shatters and it can hurt you, uh, what we typically do in, in most of the games is they will, uh, elders will allow glass bottles to be used if they're in a um, you know town setting or there's no battling in there. So if you're in a tavern or something and there's very little chance of it you know harming you, they usually let that happen. Now, I do have another... Um, bottle set here. It's a vial set from a hobby store here, t six bucks, and it has the foam corks on them, uh, actually cork corks, and these are glass. They come in a number of different sizes and shapes. And again, LARPcraft, what we use is a, you know, if it's a light color, blue, if it's a light blue, it's a you know, light mana potion. If it's a dark blue, it's a, you know, strong mana potion. And we do it that way so you can just easily look and say, well, color says what it is. All these items are lootable. So if you have a bandage, if you have spells on you, if you have rations that are, you know, that can that can heal you, uh, if you get killed and somebody says, you know, they're going to loot you once you're dead, um, you have to give up these, these items. So if you bring in a bunch of these props, make sure you have some way of knowing that they're yours, either by the shape, the design, or that you, you know, put your name on them somehow, or mark them, put a special marking on it, or something, uh, with a permanent marker, or, you know, however.
but these are things you got to watch out for. If you're going to bring this stuff into battle, you have to be really, really careful because glass, it, it has a, you know, it's very strong, but if you land on it, especially if you have armor on and such, this stuff can break and then just, you know, say it's in your pocket or something, you know, it'll just gouge into your leg. So you got to be really careful. Chances are you're going to want to go and use these plastic bottles because they are safer. And you can get things like this in these sizes in certain circumstances. So you want to look for those. And if you do see them, post them on LARPcraft, on the scrolls, because everybody wants to know where to get the, the, the cool-looking vials. Uh, the other alternative is if you have a leather carrying case or you have a way to secure this vial without it, uh, you know, you don't want it to be flipping over because then the cork comes out and it makes a mess. Uh, there are some um, patterns out there to make your own bottle holders or your vial holders. So you could actually have vials. You could have, you know, 20 of these on your on your belt. You can make a belt holder for them if you want. Um, it would work. Now you're saying, well, how can, you know, if you have 20 health potions, full health potions, well, how is how is that fair? How we went in the 3.5 rulebook, what we did is we require materials to be used to make these potions. So apothecaries will require, you know, um, uh, those kind of materials to actually make them, and they'll be listed um, before the game starts as to what you're looking for. Mana potions will need mana material. Um, you know, uh, you know. I mean, there's just all of all of the, the herbs and things are all going to be needing materials. Those materials are set out in the realm by the elders, and that's how we limit what how many potions are in the game at any one time. There may be games where there's no potions. You know, so it like um, if you're going to be making a mana potion, you may need um, uh, a certain type of you know, jewel or something like this would be, you need three of these to make a strong mana potion or something. So um, these are going to be set out by your administrators, by your realm uh, elders. And that's the way that uh, that we limit how, how, much po how many potions are in the game at a time. So if you have any questions about this or anything else uh, about the professions, we'll be making more videos as we can go along here. Uh, we typically, we're doing these videos in the... Uh, in our LARPcast.com uh, blogger videos, but we're going to actually do them on YouTube through the LARPcraft channel to help out. And we're going to try to put videos up for every profession, for every example of how to do spells and how to, you know, how to um, wield your weapons and what's safe and what's not. We'll be doing a lot of videos on, on that so that way players and elders all have a good way of uh, knowing what is safe and what you can do and what you probably shouldn't do. This has been our tenant for a, another quick tip on professions, vial bottles, and such. See you on the field, in the realms, somewhere. Get your game on.